Hey gang, what's going on? Juan here. This is not a weekend video. This is not a pre-podcast hype video. We will be talking about TLC, our predictions on the podcast this week. But I was having a shower thought or I guess a uh, during raw thought about just the state of the WWE and my enjoyment of the product. Uh, you see Ryan, Keith and myself, we don't really Skype or talk much during Raw. Uh, we, we like to keep things, you know, just like on the spot for the podcast so they're as fresh as possible. We do, however, uh, you know, either group me each other, send text messages just to see if there's any topic we really want to bring up. And I think that as time has gone by, uh, it's become easier to sort of do the tinfoil hat moments for the podcast where you think about hypothetical scenarios, where is this going? But as a fan, as a wrestling fan, not a podcaster, not a YouTuber, it's becoming, at least for me, this is strictly me, this is not Bite That, this is Juan talking here, it's becoming more difficult to just openly, enthusiastically talk about a specific part of the WWE, primarily Raw. I want to actually bring up an example here, NXT. I've said it so many times during the podcast, we unfortunately don't have a lot of time to discuss NXT during the show, but it is an amazing wrestling show. It is one hour long, and if you haven't, please watch last week. So this is Right now, this is December 7th. Watch the December 2nd edition of NXT. That show has Asuka showing up, cutting a nice promo, super simple promo. The crowd reacts. Emma is scared. You have Tommaso Ciampa versus Samoa Joe in the main event. You have Baron Corbin really progressing, somebody that I really didn't care about. But all of these guys were to a, towards a common goal. And it seems like during the show, they just keep progressing, like moving up, moving up. You had a diva that made her debut, or I believe it was her second match or something. And you could almost believe that she was, you know, like a legitimate threat to Emma. You knew Emma was going to win. But the belief that NXT sort of, you know, implants in all of us makes it one of my favorite shows. Is every show a five-star show? No. But the same thing can be said about any TV show ever. I've watched a ton of them. There's a bunch of movies that have great sequels, that have terrible sequels. But when I watch NXT, there can be a mediocre episode. But I always have that, that positive thing that I really want to talk about. And I think that as time has gone by, Raw does not have that. You look at the title scene right now. Like, I am 20 minutes right now before Raw comes to an end. And regardless of what happens in Raw, the main event for TLC is Roman Reigns versus Sheamus WWE title. You have your Kevin Owens in the show. You have your other guys, which I really care about, and I know a lot of you do. You know, we also have our year-end uh, podcast, Best of Awards, the viewers one, which you can vote right now on the channel. But when you look at the spectrum of what's really happening in the WWE right now, and me as a fan, once again, I just think to myself, what do I tune in to Raw to watch? And I think a lot of times I will go to the answer that I grew up watching it or this is a habit that I had. And at some point you have to ask yourself, and I'm not saying I'm going to stop watching WWE or something, but it is increasingly becoming more difficult to just sit down and watch the show. I've been watching wrestling since I was five years old. This has been my life, primarily WWE. I've watched TNA, Ring of Honor, but WWE has always been my coup de gras. And I almost feel like as a fan, I've been punished or, or maybe I'm on the sideline because I've seen so much, so many different storylines, and I'm sure others can relate, that whenever you see something that maybe is even new or at least different from what we've seen for a couple more years, it's just stale. You think to yourself immediately, I've seen this before. I've seen a better version of this. Movies have that same effect, but the cast changes enough. Like, you can have the same actor be in 20 different movies, but the soundtrack is different. You know, the supporting cast is different. The way the, the movie is shot is different. With wrestling, you don't have that. You have that same character in a different situation, but it is still the same guy, primarily the same music, same format, same camera style, 
and you lose that ability to just want to be sucked in there. And I think that right now is a very, very uh, interesting and crucial moment in the WWE. I'm no rating expert uh, at all. No rating expert, but things are happening. And uh, whenever I go to a uh, friend's, friend's event or something like that, and I, I bring up, you know, bite that. A lot of you guys do listen to the show. And it's always met by this whole thing of I used to watch back in the Attitude Era or I used to watch up until CM Punk left. And isn't it sad how in wrestling it's so normal for somebody to just say you used to watch it, but you see there's no legitimate interest in going back into watching it. That's super weird. Imagine like you're reading a book or something and halfway through, even though you may be enjoying it or not, this may be a bad example, but I think you get the point that there's something that you've invested so much time into and you really enjoy it at one point and then you can just go ahead and not watch it. I, I want to get your thoughts on a lot of these things. I know these are scattered thoughts. It's literally just the first thing that's coming into my mind right now. But just to summarize, NXT, I think, is the best format for wrestling. Three-hour Raw is just way too much for me. I try really hard, but that third hour, it feels like, and I think we brought this up last week, regardless of how good that third hour actually is, I just can't, I, I don't feel invested in it. I don't feel like it's sucking me in. I feel like you're doing a third hour because you have that and you need to do that. But with NXT, I feel like you have a great hour, a freaking awesome hour. Don't give me another one. Don't even give me five more minutes. Let me sink in. Let me digest this. Give me some, give me some, uh, the water talk or the water cooler talk. Yeah, there we go. Water cooler talk. NXT is so short that you can think, oh, did you see that match? Tommaso Ciampa versus Samoa Joe? Freaking awesome. Barnables, you know, tweeted me uh, about that match. And then I watched it and I felt like somebody needs to see this match. Tommaso Ciampa is supposed to be a jobber, right? At least the way he's presented in NXT, more or less. Samoa Joe just turned heel and he was a badass, believable bad guy. And you had uh, Tommaso Ciampa cutting a promo saying, I know people don't think I'm going to win, but regardless, I'm going to do my best. Super simple has been done to death. But by the time they got into that ring, the way they looked at each other and they performed was just on a whole different level. It was a TV match. This is not NXT TakeOver Caliber. This is not a 10 to 20 to 30 minute match. Simple, short match. So effective, I almost want to just rewatch that NXT from top to bottom. I can't say I've thought about that on Raw for a very long time, if not years. So give me your thoughts about just NXT's formatting, your enjoyment compared directly to Raw. I'm not talking about SmackDown or other wrestling shows. NXT's format, Raw's format, your enjoyment. And would you say Raw is an okay, good great or awesome show give me one of those four picks in the comment section definitely like and subscribe this video uh, if you like it this is something super different like i'm recording this at 11 52 p.m i haven't done this in a very long time uh, but i really love reaching out to you guys and getting your reaction i think that honestly seeing the overwhelming response to the uh, viewers choice awards picks and just seeing a lot of you that maybe have never commented just you know, giving us your picks, like taking some time to really do that, um, motivated me a lot to just throw this out there too. I want to get your feedback. And uh, I'm going to stop blabbing because then, uh, you know, I need to go to sleep and work because otherwise then I'll get fired. Then, you know, no money, no electricity, no internet, and then nothing's going to happen. I just want to thank you guys once again. Have a great night or a great day. And we will be back with tons more right here on Bite That.